Mega Sableye. Personally, one of my new favorite Mega Evolutions introduced in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Mega Sableye is really, really good. He's... I didn't think Sableye could get any better than this, but they... but Game Freak made it happen. It's here. It's... it's epic. Alright, here's a little disclaimer, though, for the... for those of you wanting a Mega Sableye. You might want a Prankster Sableye as the base for your Mega Evolution. The reason I say this is because... Mega Sableye, or Sableye in general, is a good fake out. And since with the Mega Stone and everything, you can basically pretend like, oh, it's just a normal Will O Wisp, Recover, Seismic Toss, Nightshade, Sableye, Knockoff, whatever, anything. It's a Sableye that's me meant to break physical people, pe physical attackers, whatever. But when you switch in the Mega Evolution, that's when things get really, really bad for the other person. Alright, now for the stats. Its EVs are 116 HP, 252 defense, 4 special attack, and 136 special defense. When it mega evolves, it gains a lot of defense, so I figured take advantage of that. And as for the special defense, well, you'll see later in the video. The nature I gave it is bold, but there's another nature that I'll talk about for the kind of second set I have for it, not really, but anyway, this one is just bold because it's a special attacker in this case. The item you need to make Sableye evolve is a Sableye, and obviously it gains ma Magic Bounce, which reflects any non-attacking moves back at the user. Now for the second set. Basically, it's the same outlied set before, except this time, instead of for special attack, you give it for attack. And the nature I put on this one in particular is Relaxed, which raises defense and lowers speed, because this Pokemon is really, really slow. Now for the moves. Calm Mind. This is why I gave it a little bit of an investment in special defense, because Calm Mind automatically raises your special defense as well as your special attack. That being said, if you have a bold Sableye, you might want a Shadow Ball, and if you have it relaxed, you might want Knock Off. The reason I say this, and not Dark Pulse, is because, well, Dark Pulse doesn't really do much. I mean, if you're trying to cover Psychic type, Shadow Ball still puts in work. Shadow Ball versus Dark Pulse, the chance to flinch I don't think is that high because Sableye is pretty slow to start, so you might want truck damage in this case. The next move I give it is Dazzling Gleam for coverage, a figure, or if, you know, something's not affected by your ghost or dark attack, you know, you at least got something. And finally Recover because who wouldn't guess that Sableye would be this annoying, tanked up, and have Recover. Let's, let's go into the battle. So the person sends out Ferrothorn, I am the Wonton Men, and I send out my Sableye and I Mega Evolve it. I thought he was going to go for, uh, and, oh, and I use Calm Mind because, uh, because Prankster. I thought he was going to go for Leech Seed or Thunder Wave. No, immediately goes to Seed Bomb. They're expecting this. So already, I'm starting out Calm Mind. He uses Gyro Ball, but because of the defense, it just takes that very easily, very well. I, I throw up another Calm Mind, because why not? I don't know what this Rotom Wash is going to do to me at this point. Will-O-Wisp, clearly... Well, it's not clearly Magic Bounce, but if you would know, Magic Bounce just immediately reflects it because it's hilarious. And he uses Hydro Pump and 20%. And my Shadow Ball does a crap ton of damage and just recover and do the same thing over and over again. All right, for the next battle, send out Mian Xiao. I send out my Sableye. He switches out because he knows what's up. He sends out Gudra. I'm like, all right, fine. I'll just send this out and use Calm Mind as usual. That's the usual setup. Calm Mind quick. Bulky defense. Dragon Pulse does a decent amount. And I'm like, Dazzling Gleam. And it doesn't do much because it's not Stab and relatively low special attack. So clearly, I'm going to have to use Calm Mind again because over time, Dragon Pulse just isn't begun to, it's not going to be cutting it anymore. So then I use Recover. And he's, you know, he switches out, goes back into Min Xiao. I have no idea why he had options. And then I use Calm Mind again just because. He uses U turn. It doesn't really bother me. <laughs> Sends out Skarmory. I'm like, he can't whirlwind me and he can't set up spikes, so what is he gonna do? Well, Skarmory is faster, so he starts using Higher Hand, relying on the flinch. And I'm just sitting here like, yeah, sure, I'll just keep recovering. And he's really relying on this para flinch thing to happen, and Shadow Ball does a truck ton of damage. One more Calm Mind, I definitely would have one-shotted it, regardless. And the battle just keeps going, and uh, eventually I win, because, you know, you let Mega Sableye 
set up. You did. You don't do that. I have. I don't really have a clue how to beat this thing. Maybe in a zoom world, huge power thing. It is. I can't. You can't really. You could probably dragon tail. That'd probably work. Or. Or like haze. Haze would be hilarious. All that hard work for nothing. But or mold breaker. Yeah, this, this Pokemon has some weaknesses, but in the tier it's in right now, I'd probably predict it'd either be OU or maybe NU. No, not NU. Maybe UU. But it's really good, so who knows? Maybe it might end up in OU. What do you guys think? Do you have any Mega Sableye sets? Do you have any other plans for this Pokemon? Leave your comments in the video below. I'm Oblivion Guy, and I'll catch you guys later.